Hi, it's Chris, and I've got a project today. I was splitting wood, I got a ton of it here, but my wood splitter decided to make a really loud banging sound and stop running. It's a 22 ton Husky with a 190cc uh, Briggs & Stratton engine. So I gotta see what I can do. Well, we have a Harbor Freight nearby, so I went up and got a 173cc vertical shaft engine. I'm gonna try to replace the 190cc Briggs. Hopefully the bolt pattern and the shaft and everything will work, but we'll have to see after we get it apart. It looks like it's held together with just three bolts. So let me get those off. With the three bolts undone, the engine just slips right out. You can see it has this connector on one side and the engine on the shaft has it, the same thing. The new engine is surprisingly light. The good news is the bolt patterns seem to be the same. This one bolt that's threaded into the bottom of the motor is a different size than the one that came out of the other one. But uh, the hole is large enough here to should be able to go through. The shaft is a little bit longer, I think, so I may have to put washers underneath. But first I've got to go ahead and pull off the connector. Just gonna put some PB plaster here. Looks like there's just a single Allen wrench here to uh, take the, uh, loosen the thing on the shaft. I'm just here using a standard steering wheel puller to pull this off now that the, I've taken out the Allen nut. So now that I have that off the shaft, you can see the key is here still. I lined up the key and then I used the hammer to tap it on. And now I just have to put the Allen screw back in. Since this is a lawnmower engine, I've got two problems to solve to put it on the long log splitter. It's one, I, we don't have a brake, so I need something that's gonna pull this mechanism over and lock while it's running. I think I can probably do that with like a T-handle or something. And the other thing is I need to come up with a throttle because um, on the other mower there's a throttle was built in right here. So I'm gonna have to see if I can attach a, a throttle here somehow. The shaft was just a little bit longer on this that goes to that connector underneath. So I put four washers under each of the bolts to raise it up. It takes 0.6 quarts of 10W30 oil. So you gotta go ahead and get that in. Check the oil here. Looks good. I just gassed it up. And to start, I just made a clip to hold the throttle and a clip to hold the brake. This is the brake. It has to get pulled all the way over to here. Well, this is my solution. It's not pretty. I just have a wire and I put a bolt in it. So when you pull it, Out here. So there's a hook with a bolt and I put a piece of hose for the handle. So the wire just goes in the hole and then you pull it taut and the bolt keeps the wire from going back. I have the brake pulled off and then I should be able to start it with one pull. Since the log splitter always runs at full power, I just made a little clip with a paper clip that just holds the throttle in the open position. But you could disconnect it to idle.
The engine seems to be running fine. So let's just check out the hydraulics quick and then we'll move it outside and split a log. Well, it turned out to be a nice quick little project. The only issues that you really have are having to raise it up a little bit with washers and then making some kind of throttle and brake holder. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.